He's a backyard cowboy with his cowboy play toys and a horse made from his mama's kitchen broom. A tie down pillow for a saddle, a piece of clothesline for a bridle. He's a rootin', tootin', shootin' buckaroo. Now the range he is riding, where the bad guys all are hiding, is surrounded by a fence that bought from Sears. But to him it doesn't matter, he says it's bought wire for the cattle, or so it seems to a boy of just five years. Now he rides across the Pecos, wooden gun and cardboard lasso, and the badge his mom cut from an old soup can. With the sidekick only he sees, resting underneath the pine trees, that he pretends are the cactus of the land. He surrounds the Indian nation with a great imagination, and wins the battle just himself and a dog named Blue. He's the West's greatest hero, cause he says his mama said so. There is nothing that this cowboy cannot do. He says that when he grows up, he'll become a cowboy man and chase the Texas Longhorns across the plains. Ride the bucking broncos that he looks at on TV, but for now, he just rides his cowboy dreams. He's a backyard cowboy with his cowboy play toys and a horse made from his mama's kitchen broom. A tie-down pillow for a saddle, a piece of clothesline for a bridle. He's a rootin', tootin', shootin' buckaroo. Now the range he is riding, where the bad guys all are hiding, is surrounded by a fence that bought from Sears. But to him it doesn't matter, he says it's popped wire for the cattle, or so it seems to a boy of just five years.